The 7th ASEAN Economic Community or AEC Dialogue took place online on 17th of February 2022 to discuss the findings and recommendations in the ASEAN Business Sentiment Study 2020-2021 which gauge ongoing sentiment of the ASEAN Indigenous Enterprises towards the implementation of the AEC Blueprint 2025. Let's watch this. The establishment of the ASEAN Economic Community, AEC, in 2015 has opened up numerous business opportunities for the regional community with its vision of ASEAN as a single market and production hub characterized by the free flow of goods, services and investments as well as a more liberal movement of capital and skills. As the AEC continues to mature, opportunities arise for enterprises looking to expand in or into the ASEAN market. As such, regular pulse checks on the integration efforts are crucial to ensure that the targeted objectives are met on timely fashion, as well as identifying challenges that may be a hindrance to achieving the objectives. The ASEAN Secretariat commissioned the ASEAN Business Sentiment Survey 2020-2021 to gather insights on the AEC implementation from the viewpoints of the ASEAN Indigenous Enterprises, which forms the backbone of the business ASEAN community. This study aims to gather insights and recommendations from ASEAN Indigenous Enterprises on the following. The perceived impact of ASEAN economic integration under the AEC on their businesses and industries. To delve deeper into the sentiment on services trade liberalization. To understand how ASEAN can further develop and improve regional economic integration. Indigenous enterprises' feedback on AEC implementation was gathered through the following key activities. A survey across 1,115 Indigenous enterprises. Key informant interview, KII sessions held with senior leaders of 106 Indigenous enterprises. And 29 workshops with 248 representatives from Indigenous enterprises. The financial sector, distribution sector, and tourism sector. ASEAN's greater economic integration was driven by the formation of an integrated platform cohesive to offset domestic challenges in most of the AMS. The growth is supported through the Trade Facilitation Strategic Action Plan, which oversees the seven strategic objectives. Encourage the accelerated implementation of trade facilitation measures, which have been accepted by international institutions such as the World Trade Organization, WTO, and or the World Customs Organization, WCO. Achieve competitive, efficient and seamless movement of goods within the region to enhance ASEAN's trade and production networks, better participate in global value chains and establish a highly integrated and cohesive economy. Put in place an effective and responsive regional approach to efficiently address the trade distorting effect of NTMs with a view to pursuing legitimate policy objectives while reducing cost and time of doing business in ASEAN. Actively engage the private sector with particular emphasis on the development and promotion of micro, small and medium enterprises (MSMEs). Enhance the institutional coordination among the relevant sectorial bodies of ASEAN to effectively implement the trade facilitation measures under their respective purview, consistently with their sectorial work plans for 2016 to 2025 and the ASEAN Blueprint 2025. Work towards increasing the participation of all AMS, especially the less developed AMS, in the process of implementation of ASEAN trade facilitation programs. Improve the monitoring mechanism for the implementation of trade facilitation measures with a view to increasing their effectiveness and responsiveness in improving the competitiveness of ASEAN industries and businesses. Insights from this study formed four key messages. Indigenous enterprises in general have a positive outlook on AEC. They acknowledged the positive impact created through various AEC trade liberalization initiatives which supported their business growth and performance. Majority of the indigenous enterprises are pleased with the current integration level and that they look forward for further enhancement and expansion of the integration initiatives. 
indigenous enterprises wish to have better access to the comprehensive information repository of AEC policies and programs. They are poised to support and increase their regional investment participation if they have better comprehension of the prospects and opportunities to be derived through AEC. Indigenous enterprises in their services sector wish to see more improvement in the standardization of regulations and procedures. Enterprises from developed AMS have better advantage compared to the less developed AMS. In general, the ASEAN Economic Community 2025 Consolidated Strategic Action Plan, which was updated in 2018, has stipulated various measures as a follow-up of the ASEAN 2025 Agenda. However, the Indigenous businesses and stakeholders within the three services sectors covered, the follow-through is yet to materialize fully as anticipated. Clear actions are needed by all the stakeholders to achieve further liberalization of trade and service. Most notably, ASEAN enterprises need to be clearly informed on the bilateral level decisions and deals that have been made so that they can action upon it. There are three action plans that can be followed up upon by both ASEAN Secretariat and each AMS government, which are Strengthening the communication and information flow Streamlining an adequate and effective legal framework Digital facilitation and infrastructure improvement While good progress has been made, more could be done. The ASEAN Business Sentiment Survey 2020-2021 presents five recommendations to further liberalize the trade and services in general across ASEAN. Policy transparency and harmonization of standards and regulation. Improve awareness and understanding on the AEC, AFAS and ATISA. Creation of centralized data sharing platform in digital format. Creation of trade dispute settlement framework and common law transaction. Improvement and standardization of labor and professionals mobility process across region for ease of travel and cost efficiency. The success of the AEC is highly reliant on the overall intra-ASEAN investment environment for the ASEAN indigenous enterprises. The participation and involvement of the private sector are crucial to creating a solid foundation for the successful implementation of the ASEAN Economic Community AEC. As such, it is imperative that insights and the result of the study will be taken into consideration and ultimately fed into ASEAN policy-making processes.